everyone, welcome back to my channel. And just in case you're new here, my name is Mike. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about a couple of my favorite things in the whole world. King Kong and King Kong collectibles. Because I was lucky enough to find this bad boy, the new NECA King Kong. This is version 3 um, that NECA has put out. And he is hitting shelves a little bit early. So if you're searching out there for him, hit up your targets because he is out there. Uh, my local Target had a bunch of these guys, so I was able to secure one for the collection and for the channel. So we're going to, of course, take a closer look at him with a more in-depth review. So let's slice right into it. Everybody, here we are taking a closer look at, of course, the first thing, the box of the new NECA King Kong version 3, that is. Um, I absolutely love this line and I love this packaging. So let's take a look at it real quick. Um, definitely just super cool. Um, King Kong on the front just says King Kong. Really cool imagery. Um, nothing super, super major to see. NECA, real toys. Cool shot of him on the side. And then on the back here, they kind of show you, if you don't know, um, he actually does come with a couple little kaijus, a little lizard and like a pterodactyl sort of thing, um, all reminiscent of the 1933 original Kong, which is one of the coolest things to come in this set, along with the tree trunk. So he actually gets a weapon this time, which I think is super cool. And this side of the box, you get to see the growl. More of an angry face of Kong. And my <clears throat> trunk has fallen out, but that's okay. And you got this really cool shot of Kong on the side here. Love that imagery. And then of course Okay. And then of course Kong in packaging looks really good. The heads look really cool. And uh he's definitely gonna be a fun one to get out and take a look at. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box. Alright, and here he is outside of his box with all of his beautiful, beautiful fucking accessories here. So of course. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Kong himself. The king always goes first, baby. Again, the awesome detail. NECA always kills it with these Kongs. I mean, with all their figures, really. But the King Kong in particular, um, if you look at his sculpt, awesome. The fur looks so realistic. The paint job, as usual, is just phenomenal. Um, I really like this face because this, to me, is the... Most reminiscent 1933 Kong face um, NECA has done thus far with all three versions of the King Kongs. So that is something I really love. And something that's new to the King Kong line is actually the moving jaws. You can actually pose his jaw <clears throat> excuse me, in any way you'd like. Oh, open, closed, partially open. That's really cool. Um, that I really love. Um, I I kind of like that. I kind of dig this look. That just makes me think of the old film. Um, for whatever reason, I really like that. Um, unfortunately, I'm actually going to display him with the other head, so I'm not going to get to enjoy the beauty that is the movable mandible. But um, either way, it's still super cool. And one thing I noticed about this Kong in comparison to the other ones is I feel like the grays in his face and on his chest. And on his toes and inside of his hands is a lot lighter than the other Kongs for some reason. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit lighter, it seems like, in paint. And um, also his scars on his chest and all over his face, they seem to be a lot, uh, they, they appear to be a lot deeper and definitely a lot more red. They definitely pack the red in for this Kong. He looks like he's been through a battle or two, even with a little blood stain right there that the original does not have. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, in terms of articulation and posability, um, it's the same as every other Kong. Um, they, they can do a lot. His arms will go out. As you can see, the double joints in the, uh, in the elbows here allows for major posability. Um, his wrists do a full turnaround, you know, up out to the side. So he's extremely posable. He's got the, uh, He's got the bend, again, right in the abdomen area, which is helpful if you want to lean him back or lean him to a certain side. And same thing with his legs, double jointed in the thigh and knee area, and then the uh, joints down at his feet to kind of help him stand if you need to maneuver his feet 
for a certain position. So we're not going to go over articulation too much because if you're familiar with the other Kongs, um, it's the exact uh, exact same thing. Same body, same mold, same sculpt, but um, of course uh, new heads with this with this figure and also two new hand sculpts, which allows Kong to... Um, not, no, no, not that. Not that. Doesn't allow him to do that. <laughs> well, maybe. For you perverts out there. But it allows him to hold things. If you want him to hold the lizard or hold the tree trunk or um, hold himself, whatever you want him to hold. So now he has um, these really cool um, new sculpted hands that are for gripping things, which is really cool. I love that. Definitely a cool addition to the Kong line. Really, really enjoy that. Um, the more, you know, obviously there's fans that are saying, oh, it's the third version of the same figure. So obviously they're going to have to bring it with the accessories um, if you want, you know, people to go out and buy this. Unless you're like me and you're just going to buy every Kong they put out no matter what anyway. Um, he also comes with this really cool alternate head. And this is the one I'm actually going to display him on. This really cool bloody battle growl look. And if you can see what I was talking about with the red, I mean, it, look at that. Like, this is an alternate head, so it's not on the original. But, I mean, they really, really highlighted the uh, the blood on this figure. So I really like that. But this growl, and he just looks so angry at a tilt. Look him in his eyes. Okay, I'm sorry. So, yeah, no. So that's super cool. I love that head. That's how I'm going to... Sorry about the focus there. That's how I'm going to display my Kong. And of course, he comes with this really cool tree trunk as a weapon, which which I love. This is one of my favorite things about the figure. Um, the other two figures we have, they don't come with anything they can hold, any weapons or anything like that. And in any Kong movie you watch, I mean, Kong is always swinging some kind of tree or helicopter or, or something. He's always using some sort of a weapon. So now that Kong has this and he's able to hold it, a little hard toward the bottom of the base there, but if you just tilt his hand the right way, he'll be able to hold it just fine. But I'm going to probably have it um, over his head, you know, maybe about to, about to smash the lizard or something like that. Um, so that's really cool accessory. I really love that. And um, he, uh, he comes with four more hands that are typical for the Kong line. Um, two opened, two open palms. Again, great detail. But these are pretty standard for the Kong lines. You get two of those, and then, of course, you get the two closed fists, just like the other versions of Kong. And, again, my favorite thing to come with this, aside from the tree trunk, is we actually get two little tiny kaijus to go with them. Again, all inspired from the 1933 Kong. Really cool paint job on him. I love him. And when I got him out of the box, I was so nervous to turn his head because I didn't know if he moved. And um, for those that, you know, know me or follow me on Instagram, I had gotten, recently gotten the Mezco Kong for over $200, and I broke his arm off as soon as I got him out of the box. So I was a little nervous, but no, he indeed does move his head, and he features the moving jaw again. So this thing's really cool, man. I mean, the fact that he came with these two little things, I mean, like I said, I was going to buy it regardless but the fact that he um, the fact that he comes with these is just a bonus and just absolutely amazing. And this little lizard dude here, see if he can come into focus. Little like Komodo dragon lizard fish guy. He's pretty cool too. I think I'm gonna have Kong holding him by the tail and have the the tree branch above his head about to beat his head in. So. So that's pretty much uh, the look at the new Kong, you guys. Um, if you guys like this figure, again, um, NECA announced some Father's Day figures that will be coming out in the Father's Day season, they say, along with um, this Kong. And another Kong will be version 4, and I'm, of course, going to have my eye out for him. And as soon as I get him, I'm going to bring him home and get him on the channel for everybody to see. But um, this guy is hitting shelves early. Check your targets. Check your end caps. Um, I went to a target... I went straight to the NECA section, I saw nothing, and I said, well, that was a waste of time. And as I'm walking out, I'm kind of scanning the um, the toy section, thinking about getting something for my daughters. And there he was, boom, sitting on an end cap next to some Anakin Skywalkers. So check your targets, you guys, and check those end caps in your toy section if you're looking to get this Kong. He's super cool. He's amazing. He's a welcome addition to the Kong NECA family. And... Um, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed them. And again, if you want them, go check your targets. Thanks, thank you guys for watching. And of course, I want to say thank you all so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please put a comment down below and subscribe if you choose to, if you haven't already. So thank you all so very much. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram for a more personal look at my life of horror or to have more private conversations or just to discuss horror on a more easier um, playing field. That's the place to do it. You can follow me right down there if you want to. And also, I really, really hope that you will join the community because we launched our own Facebook horror community group. It's a place where we can all go and discuss all things horror from movie trailers to collectibles to displaying collections to just talking about your favorite films to promoting your own YouTube channels, anything like that. It's all fair game. Just don't be an asshole and don't be a dick. It's all we ask. There's no rules. There's no applications and all that bullshit that some other groups will do. No, nah, we're not about that over there. So if you are interested in joining that, simply go to Facebook and type in This is Our Design H. C, my wife or myself will accept you right away and you can start talking some bloody good shit. So, with all that being said, I want to say thank you all again so very much. And please keep coming back if you enjoy the channel. Um, we're going to have a big, big reboot on the channel coming up real soon. A big facelift, all new editing, all new equipment, all new logo, everything. This whole channel is going to be turned up to 11. So again, thank you all so very much. Again, my name is Mike and this is my design.